Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. EHANG conducts its first U.S. trial flight. Kratos receives $6 million in unmanned aerial target drone system orders. And a man pleads guilty to unlawfully operating a drone. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. EHANG conducted its first U.S. trial flight of its two-seater passenger grade AAV, the EHANG 216, as part of the North Carolina Transportation Summit hosted by the North Carolina Department of Transportation. This is the first time EHANG 216 has received flight approval from the FAA. And while this was a non-passenger flight, EHANG is working with the FAA to secure approval for a passenger flight trial in the near future. To date, EHANG has safely conducted over 2,000 trial flights in the United States, China, Austria, the Netherlands, Qatar, and the UAE to ensure that its AAVs operate safely and reliably in different areas globally. Now it's time for today's Unmanned Minute, where we'll be taking a quick look at interesting news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. GoPro has released updated firmware for its Karma drones. On January 1st, multiple pilots reported they were unable to correctly receive GPS signals to calibrate the internal compass on the drone. You can find the steps on how to update your Karma drone on GoPro's website. A $17 million contract was rewarded to Swift Tactical Systems to provide Bahamas government agencies and ministries with the UAS program. The program includes the purchase of 55 short and medium range drones, immediate surveillance capabilities, training, support, and the establishment of a regional drone agency. If you're looking for the latest in home security, you may want to check out Sunflower Lab's home awareness system. The system features an autonomous drone called the Bee that detects and investigates suspicious activity around your home. Bee is equipped with collision avoidance technology, GPS, and streams live video of your property to your phone. After the drone has finished its inspection, it returns to its waterproof housing, the Hive, to recharge. While there's been no definitive response from the Air Force, recent sightings of drone swarms in the western U.S. may be tied to counter-drone exercises around missile silos. Air Force Global Strike Command confirmed it routinely conducts counter-drone exercises out of F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Cheyenne, Wyoming. The command oversees Minuteman silos in northeastern Colorado, southeastern Wyoming, and western Nebraska, where the drone sightings have taken place. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions received approximately $6 million in high-performance jet-powered unmanned aerial target drone system orders and related ancillary and spare support equipment. Work under these contract awards will be performed primarily in Kratos Unmanned Systems Division product facilities. President of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, Steve Fenley, said these orders represent the latest evolution of our target systems, which continue to support the evolving needs of our customers. Due to competitive, customer-related, and other considerations, no additional information on this contract award was provided. Jason Muzicato of Bangor, Pennsylvania, pleaded guilty last month to possession of firearms by a person subject to a domestic violence protective order, possession of a destructive device, and knowingly operating an unregistered drone. Pursuant to a plea agreement at the time of sentencing, the government will move to dismiss an additional count that charged Muzicato with possession of firearms by an unlawful user of a controlled substance. 
The investigation revealed that Muzicato possessed firearms and homemade bombs while under a domestic violence protective order. He also admitted to regularly flying drones, including a DJI Phantom 3 seized by law enforcement. He knew he was required to register with the FAA but had not done so. Reports indicate Muzicato had used the drone to drop a bomb on property belonging to his ex-girlfriend. And that's it for this week's Airborne Amand. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to AUBSI.org and airborne-unmanned.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.